So if you own a Sony camera, you most likely have already discovered uh, their Achilles uh, knee and that's getting dust on your sensor. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly clean your sensor and check if it's, if it's dirty or not. So just before we start, I wanted to say that uh, this is actually the first time I'm cleaning a sensor. So if if you're seeing this video, that means it was successful. The camera is still working and I managed to clean everything up. So that means it's easy as hell uh, uh, to do it and uh, might as well sa save your money from a, a really professional cleanup and don't do that often. Uh, because it, for example, here where I live, it costs like 70 euros to get it professionally cleaned and all of the supplies cost me like you know like 40 euros and they're gonna last me for at least uh five or six clean cleanups so that's gonna save me a lot of money also what i've seen is yeah mirrorless cameras tend to get a lot of dust no matter what you do if you live somewhere like uh like where I live and there is a lot of pollen flying around because there is a lot of greenery, uh, there is a lot of dust and basically if you change lenses it, uh, out in the field, even at home, basically it's pretty hard to keep uh, out all of the, the dust, dirt, pollen and all of that nasty things out of your sensor. So sooner or later you're going to need to clean that sensor and yeah, without any further ado, let's uh, start cleaning that nasty sensor. What I'm going to be using today for the cleaning is going to be the full frame sensor cleaning kit as well as the sensor scope. So this is the sensor scope. If we open it up. Basically this goes on top of your sensor and it has some lights inside so you can illuminate. This is actually a magnifying lens over here so you can uh, see better the flakes of dust and all of the nasty stuff you need to clean from your sensor. So this is what we have inside, as well as an operational manual uh, to clean the lens and how to take care of your sensor. So here we have multiple swaps as well as the sensor cleaning liquid. So we'll put this on the side. And the first thing we're gonna do is take the camera out and I'm gonna remove the lens. So the next thing I'm gonna do is going to the settings of the A7 III, select cleaning mode, and perform the auto image sensor cleaning. So you're gonna hear some shaking and rattling from the sensor. This is just to uh, try and um, get rid of some of the small uh, dust that's uh, easily removable with just some shakes. Hold your hammer, camera up uh, like this so the, the sensor is the sensor is facing down so the dust can fall easily. You click enter and it's done. So now the important thing is not to not to exit this because it says turn the power off. This is um, you, right now we are into the maintenance mode. Basically the image stabilization is not working and it's holding the sensor uh, in place uh, and if this is not active there is a chance that you might damage your sensor while cleaning it so make sure to be in this mode over here so we're going to turn this around and now we're going to put this thing on it goes like this and turn the lights on to be honest can't see too much maybe if i move around like this Definitely doesn't fit right on the lens. So we're gonna see inside what's happening. Honestly, this is pretty much honestly this is pretty much useless. I can, I can barely see anything. So I do see some specks of dust. Problem is I'm not sure if this is visible 
on the camera right now. I'm not sure it even focuses where I want it to focus. Well, it's honestly, I could have gone without this. So next step is to get your blower. Turn the camera on, slightly on an angle like this and just blow gently. One tip here is to hold this part over here because they tend to fly out some time. <laughs> if you push out too much, make sure you're not touching the sensor in any way. So this should have gotten rid of, of like any flying dust, but there is always stuff like pollen and all of that that just sticks to the sensor. Next thing to do is to get one of these. Open up like that. When you open up, try not to get it dirty or something. Up, remove this, and at a 60 angle degree, this is actually gonna be dry. So just put it on the sensor and just swap, then in the other direction, the same movement. This is to remove any dust or anything like that. And we're gonna have a quick check if I can still see something over here. To be honest, oh yeah, there's some, still, some stuff left. So that means most likely it's pollen. So we're gonna get another one. This time I'm going to prepare this. I'm going to leave it here. Remove this thing. So I'm going to take another one out. And what I'm going to do, make sure you don't do this over the sensor just in case you spill more. Just drop one, two, three. And again at a 60 degree angle, just reach the sensor and swipe. And then I'm going to do this on the other side as well. So one, two, and I'm going to gently swipe. Now let's see how we're doing. Well, the sensor already looks way cleaner than it was. But just to be sure, since we used some liquid on top of the sensor, I'm going to get another swab. God damn, it's hard to open these. I'll take one and just do it like this to see if something is left from the moisture of the cleaning solution over here and it's better to to spend an extra swap than to screw up something so what we are going to do now i forgot that we need to also power off and then power on hopefully everything is okay the good thing is uh, there is almost no particles here on this white surface, so we can use it for the test. So what I'm gonna do now is close the aperture. Go to auto ISO. It's focused. Oops, we're in movie mode. And that means... Okay. So basically that's gonna be my test shot. 
and if I go here and I zoom in be, yeah I guess this isn't the perfect surface I'm gonna take this out and shoot a photo of the sky so from from what I see over here if I zoom in I just took a quick photo of the sky go around there shouldn't be any at least I don't see any specs the problem with these screens is you usually don't see so I'm going to show you a trick in Lightroom okay so now that we are in in Lightroom I've imported the, uh, the test shots I got before I started the cleaning and the test shots I got after the cleaning and how to check if there is actually progress between the two situations is basically we're going to select your photo I with this one it's pretty clear there there are a lot of dust spots on on, uh, on the sensor on and so on but just to make it even clearer you gotta select your spot removal tool and select here down under the photo visualize spots basically this is what you get all of these are dusts and uh, dust particles and pollen and all of that crap that you get on your sensor and after you've selected the visualized spots you can then go from photo to photo to see your progress and to see if there's still something left to be cleaned so if I go to the next photo these four photos are basically my effort to clean the the sensor with just the blower you can see I did manage to get some of the spots but some just moved around and never fell or some just were too sticky and were and stayed in the same freaking place uh, so by the fourth time yeah it, the uh, the overall dirt just became way less so uh, I would say that uh, uh, it was still better than uh, than at the beginning but you can see yeah, you can still see that there are visual spots that will ruin some of your shots so I decided to finally clean my sensor the first shot, test shot I took after the cleaning is basically useless because you can see that that's pretty much the surface uh, that I shot so make sure to shoot this guy this is the best way to do it so the first four shots were taken uh, from uh, I took shots of the sky and the last shot is also from the sky you can see it the sensor is squeaky clean uh, technically there, there is um, there is nothing hard for the cleaning process uh, as long as you follow the instructions I showed you it, it took me not more than a couple of minutes to actually clean it so when you take out all of the uh, presentational part from the video it's just a couple of minutes to, to swap it uh, three times um, some dust cleaning before that with a bl uh, blower but yeah so you can see that the before just let it look before and after so there you go uh, I hope you found this video helpful if you did you know the deal thumbs up subscribe doesn't hurt uh, and just for a summary if you are going going to go for this magnifying lenses with uh, lights pretty useless don't buy uh, don't buy it uh, better to spend more money on on swaps and uh, uh, liquid I mean I might find some other use for for this uh, uh, strange magnifying lens but for the purpose I bought it and it was meant for it's pretty useless uh, I mean I could see the same amount if I just pointed a normal uh, point reading lamp um, I would see the same amount of dust it doesn't zoom in that much so yeah save your money <laughs> and uh, yeah uh, just uh, before we finally end this video a disclaimer I am not uh, responsible if you damage in any way your camera so be careful what you do every time you do this you take uh, a small risk um, of damaging your camera so yeah keep that always in mind I do advise if you don't feel secure in your skills uh, to just go to a professional to clean it so 
I would say that 80% of people would be able to clean their sensors without any problems, unless you have really shaky hands or you cannot control the, uh, easily the pressure you apply with the sticks, um, with the swaps, yeah, you would do just fine. Uh, so yeah, again, thanks for watching and yeah, see you on my other videos, guys. I'm saying too much, yeah. Okay, let's let's end this. This video has been too long already. <laughs> See you guys. Ciao.